One of the big stories of the offseason for the Lions is how they landed C.J. Gardner-Johnson, a big need, secondary guy that can do it all. The fact that C.J. was looking for a multi-year deal, everybody is, but they doesn't get one. And one of the best safeties we're able to swoop in and get for a one-year, $8 million deal. Well, an update today says it's even better than that. It's even better than we thought. So if you look at it, it was originally reported as a one-year, $8 million deal. Again, shout out to Pride of Detroit for this article. One-year, $8 million deal, perfect. Like, take it all day, love it. He's worth every penny. But looking deeper into his contract as it was released uh, today, some more details, it's actually a one-year, $6.5 million fully guaranteed contract. Sounds good. But the cap hit will only be $4.5 million this year. So you're getting arguably one of the top free agents for $4.5 million cap hit. A guy that, and we'll look into the, the details on how that actually works to only be a $4.5 million cap hit, but you're looking at some of the top free agents that went off the board. Jesse Bates gets the four-year $64 million deal, 16 a year. You look at the seven and a half, seven. There's Chauncey Gardner down here at 6.5 when really the cap hits only 4.5. And he's better than these guys. Like, I mean, this is just incredible to me. And you could argue Jesse, but whatever, right? You could argue it. But the point is, he's not that much cheaper. We're able to get the guy that we want, come to our facility for cheaper. And you're getting a motivated guy a guy that's on another prove-it deal that wants to get the Jesse Bates deal. That's what he's looking for. So, you know, you're getting this motivated guy that's coming back to play with Aaron Glenn, knows him, worked with him before, on a team that needs him. I mean, C.J. Gardner-Johnson fills so many needs. He can play safety when – because you, you know you're going to have an injury at safety, and maybe he'll start at safety. But if he's not at safety, maybe we're set at safety. Okay, then he can go to like slot corner, an outside corner. He can do any position in the backfield. So he's so valuable. He's strong. He's tough. He's a great against the run. And oh, by the way, he's led the league in interceptions last year. So let's look out at this contract and how it really works out. So he has a base salary of 2.5, a bonus of 2 million this year. And then next year, it's a void year, meaning he's not, technically on our team, but we'll give him $2 million next year as well. So for him, he loves it because he gets $6.5 million, basically spread guaranteed over two years. And so he's he's good with that, where we get only a 4.5 cap hit this year, a $2 million cap hit next year. But again, what we've learned from Brad Holmes and what he's teaching us, he loves to kick the can down the road because of two reasons. Number one, allows him to get creative later. I'll get creative next year. I'll get creative the year after that. I'll kick it down the road again, and I'll just keep kicking the can down the road because cap the cap keeps going up. It'll always keep going up unless the pandemic year it didn't, but obviously that's a crazy unique situation. So Brad Holmes is like, I have so much confidence in myself and my team here, the front office, to be able to constantly adjust next year and the year after that so it that's two million dollars next year whatever it doesn't matter so i love it i i, I just this is a huge update we originally thought eight million dollars hey get it awesome you know that's kind of the contract we gave to chark chark's not maybe coming back maybe he is but if he doesn't fine we get a great player one year prove it deal but it's even better than we thought so let me know your thoughts in the comments on the job that brad holmes is doing i i it's, it's so hard because we've got the first competent GM that we've like ever had. So it's hard to be like, Hey, I, I just, I, you know, I love it. Or is it like, no, th- we've never seen this standard of GM. So is it, is this how every team is or no? It's like, man, not only is he the first competent GM, he's even exceeding that doing smart strategic moves. Doesn't just, I mean, I, I would have just, it's like, Oh, Gardner Johnson's kind of interested in here. Here, here you go. Here's two years, 20 mil, or, you know, like I would have, because you're just trying to get him. But he's like, no, let's be smart about it and be like overly smart. It's it's just almost hard to believe that we're able to get the players that we've been able to get. So CJ Gardner Johnson cannot underestimate or understate how important this guy is to the Lions because you look at the secondary last year, really bad. I mean, 
it, it really held us back, I think. And it was it was every level of the defense. You look at um, the D line started to find its way, started to get pressure. Linebackers not overly athletic, had some trouble, you know, in in certain situations, maybe staying with guys, whatever, right? And then the secondary to to really be the icing on the cake of Okuda's oh, inconsistent. Jerry Jacobs was out most of the year. Oh, oh Warrior, you know, it took us. He basically cost us a game before we realized, okay, he's not going to be able to play against the Vikings early on where he had so many penalties. There were so many situations where the secondary really hurt you. And CJ said it in a press conference like, hey, it comes down to us. It's going to come down to the secondary. He said, look at the Super Bowl. It came down to the secondary. It's a passing league. Guys are running all over the place. You need guys to be able to protect the backfield, defensive backfield. And now we have a guy that can play every position. So if you get an injury to a corner, he can go in there, get an injury to safety. He can go in there, vice versa. You're not dropping like flies. Like we, we would get an injury last year. And it's like, oh boy, you know, who's going to come in for CJ Moore? Like, oh, no offense to him, but come on. He's our safety now. Or, you know, just two years ago at AJ Parker. And again, no offense to him, but he's undrafted free agent. We just don't have the bodies. And now he's got to be in. So let me know your thoughts in the comments on, just this guy, I mean, I, I'm, I just want to talk about him, uh, let alone the contract. I could just do another video on the fact that we added one of the best defensive backs in free agency, but at a great deal because we have got to get better in the, in the secondary. We just got to get better defensively, and we did, and we showed it, and that's what's so exciting. And I know everybody gives gave Aaron Glenn a bunch of crap there for a while, but at the same time, got to give him credit for really coming along strong really improving the the defense and what what Brad Holmes said about the defense is so true the the cupboard's not bare on the, on the defense it's not like you know we've got young guys that contributed a lot that are coming back that are only going to get better you've got a draft class where you're going to take more guys hopefully you get a couple splashes a couple guys hit trust in Brad Holmes hit a fifth rounder right hit a fifth round linebacker again the the defense has to be better. If the defense is better, the Lions can really do something because we know offensively we've got the firepower and we've got the creative. You have to be innovative offensively. Check. We've got that. We've got a coach down who's got a better feel of going for it, trick plays, that sort of thing. I think that's a huge part of the game and you got to do it, but you got to do it right, of course. And Dan Campbell took him a minute to figure that out. He knows when to go for it now. He knows when to kick field goals. So we're just, this is the year that I thought we'd be good. I thought, I hoped we'd, you know, year three, hey, let's be a little better. But I think we're exceeding expectations, adding the right players, all good stuff. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Man, Lions doing all the right things. Let's see. Can't wait for, can't wait for the season. That's basically it. Can't wait for the draft. That's next. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe. And we will see all of you on the next one.